right, so Jay, so was I crazy to leave your Pittsburgh game off there? Why don't you tell me about your Steelers, man? Tailgate Kings here talking NFL breakdown, breaking down the top five games of the season for certain teams. Here we go. We're talking about the Steelers next. So, Jay, what, what, what are your top five games for Steel Town? And not only that, what, what do you expect from Big Ben this season, especially not having a, a normal offseason and coming off of injury and whatnot? I think the NFL knows that no one knows what to expect from Big Ben, and that's why the Steelers are on Monday Night Football in Week 1. Right, first off, the Steelers have like an undying fan base, like the Cowboys. It doesn't matter how good or how bad they're doing. People will, will tune into that game. People will go to that game if it's not in Pittsburgh. They don't care. There's always going to be Steelers fans in a football stadium somewhere if they're playing. There's no doubt about that. So it's an easy sell, right? But the bigger thing is the NFL knows that no one's sure what to expect from Ben Roethlisberger. There's, there's two ways this goes. Ben goes into one of his, uh, I'm going to try to recover from this injury, protect my body, try to be a, a surgical quarterback. That never works out for him. Or he's going to say, I've recovered from this injury. This is probably my last real shot here. I have a defense that was, what, uh, uh, ranked fifth in the NFL total, third in passing. Uh, I'm sorry, third against the rush, sixth against passing. I mean, Steelers had a phenomenal defense last year. People just didn't notice how darn good they were because they were losing so many games because they went to the third and fourth string quarterback, right? Uh, yeah, the punter took snaps. They haven't brought any, any free agent quarterback. <laughs> so the Steelers are literally putting all their dice on Roethlisberger. He's a guy who has to play like Brett Favre. He's a guy who has to play like Terry Bradshaw or Aaron Rodgers. He's not a, uh, a Tom Brady. Uh, he's not a Peyton Manning. He's not a throw the ball away kind of guy. He's a guy who has to go out there and play all out. And I think the NFL knows that that is a great storyline going into Tuesday morning after Monday Night Football, which Ben we saw, and that will determine a lot about the Steelers' season. So I think their most important game is Monday Night Football in Week 1, without a doubt. Um, and then the others, I think, are kind of predictable. The Eagles are the litmus test, like I've said, for all teams they play. If you're going to make the playoffs, you're going to have to show you can beat the Eagles. Um, you can pick either Ravens game, <laughs> right? Because Steelers-Ravens is always a bloodbath. There's there's no doubt about it. Good. Um, uh, and they, they play, what, uh, the is it the day after Christmas? <laughs> so uh, those are historically uh, – Crazy, insane games. I mean, uh, Ravens, Steelers, Christmas, uh, you know, day before, day after Christmas games are, you know, uh, Ben with a broken nose carrying Terrell Suggs like five or six yards for a first down. Uh, uh, Heinz Ward getting knocked out. I mean, that's that's a game that every year is huge. And kind of day after it, Christmas, it's it'll not, be even it's four bigger. days before. It's not, actually, uh, no, it's not Christmas. You, you've got you've got Baltimore on Thanksgiving, it looks oh, like. Oh, sorry, Thanksgiving. I apologize. I read the wrong day. Thanksgiving, same thing. It'll be huge. And then the Christmas game <laughs> is the Colts. Uh, yeah, Christmas is Colts, Colts yeah. Game, which is, sorry, I had my holidays confused. The Colts is the Christmas game, which is a tough one. Uh, the Colts yeah. are a team that kind of exactly mirrors the Steelers. Mm -hmm. They have a young, fast defense yep. that is, is really, really good. But nobody noticed how good the Colts' defense was last year because Andrew Luck quit and they didn't have enough talent at the QB position or the wideout spot to carry that great defense. So the Steelers versus the Colts right after Christmas is a fascinating game because you have two teams that mirror each other, a quarterback, on his way out, last chance to win a Super Bowl in Rivers' case, to win one more in Ben's case, with a young, amazing defense. Teams that very easily could win the Super Bowl or not even make the playoffs. Yeah, Indy's upgraded their offensive line. That game could be awesome. That could game. That game could be one of those like, for us old heads who are watching two guys that we've you know loved and or liked or disliked, hated, respected, whatever. Uh, those two guys in that game at the twilight of their career, that's a nice That's a nice game after Christmas. That's a Christmas gift yeah, for all of us. Old QBs trying to be young, impressive <laughs> defensive backs. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's, it's a fascinating That's fun. On both sides. That's fun. Jay, are you worried for your Steelers? Um, because you guys didn't really look for a quarterback in the draft. Uh, all in, As you said, you went to like the fourth string guy last season. And none of them really looked good. Are you worried about a backup for Big Ben right now? I'm surprised. I really am. I thought we would draft a, a quarterback, or or I was on the yeah, let's sign Jameis Winston. Yes. Right, right. Uh, I, I Cam's too much money, and and probably somebody will take him somehow in there. You know what I mean? Like he'll get signed by somebody for more money to start. Uh, so yeah, I am surprised at that decision because uh, it's pretty clear if Ben gets hurt, the team will be capsized. And meanwhile, you know that defense is put together of young, impressive talent. 
their contracts aren't going to get less expensive in a year or two. They're only going to get more expensive, right? right. Yeah, yeah. So like the Colts, the Steelers and the Colts have great young defenses, but young defenses have a window, not because of age, but because guys will leave for more money. So not bringing in a backup is a very confusing move. At this point, I would take Cam. I would take anybody. I'd have taken Dalton. I don't care. Right. I want a backup in there. I think this is a mistake they're making right now. I think – and it's something we see good coaches do sometimes. Belichick doesn't seem to care. He's lost Tom Brady. Tomlin seems to be fine putting all, all his eggs in the Ben Roethlisberger basket. And Ben very suddenly plays 16 games. He rarely gets knocked out for a whole season like he did, but he usually misses two or three. And that, that can be decisive when you're in the same division as the Baltimore Ravens. Yeah, no. And, now, and here's another question for you. Is, is it just me, or is this the earliest in the season that you guys finish up your, um, your head-to-head with Baltimore, it, it being, being that it's all the way in week 12? Like, it, don't you guys usually play Baltimore really late in the season, or am I making that up? No, it usually – well, you always end your season playing division teams, so right. it, it's odd that you wouldn't schedule the Ravens then. But I think, I think the NFL knows what they're doing here because, like, that where we would usually play the Ravens is where the Steelers are playing the Colts, and that's just as good of a game without a doubt. So I, I'm not against that. And then if we look at the Ravens' schedule, let's see who they put on that week with the Ravens. Give me one second. I bet it'll be an equally uh, interesting game. Oh, they give me last year's schedule, of course. <laughs> but yeah, I, I can't imagine it would be any worse of a game. So I, I – and I bet you the Steelers and Ravens are happy about those Christmas games being moved up to Thanksgiving this year simply because, you know, we've historically said the winner of the big winner from the, the Baltimore Pittsburgh game is always the teams they get to play the following week because they're so beat up. So, so the, the further up you can get Pittsburgh Baltimore games, the better both teams' chances are in the playoffs because they'll have less injured players. Oh, God. Okay. So we we're talking about hard schedules, right, guys? The hardest stretches and whatnot. I pulled up Baltimore's schedule, they finish. At Cleveland, home against Jacksonville, home against the Giants, at Cincinnati. Tell me that's not maybe the, the easiest four game stretch to what? finish the, the season on. I mean, who did Harbaugh pay? Jeez. Casey, is that the easiest? We've been talking about the hardest. It's gotta be. Is that the easiest four game yeah. schedule? Yeah, probably so. Um, at least out of the teams that we haven't mentioned. Well, and maybe even out of the teams that we have mentioned. I mean, especially I agree, to finish yeah. the, the season. I mean, usually you'd expect I mean, like come some, on. like one slobber knocker to end the season. There's there's no slobber knockers there unless like Daniel Jones becomes the second coming this season. No. Or something, you know. No. <laughs> they said, you know what? Let's 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 give the team that had the uh, that has the reigning MVP, defense in the league, and probably the best quarterback under the age of 25. Let's give them. Every uh, advantage. Let's give them a super easy schedule this year. Yeah, you know? every advantage. All problem we want is, is a know, fair advantage. This is, the Ravens are have the same problem they've had the last two seasons. They're going to get lulled to sleep and then knocked <laughs> out in the playoffs, and yeah. everybody's going to be surprised by it. Like this is this has been what's happened with the Ravens. They haven't been able to find that gear, and it's it's something that if they can't make it a few games into the playoffs this year with victories, we're going to hear this about Harbaugh. People are people are going to start questioning his ability. For because because you know he's going to run the regular season right, I, you know it's 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 their division. You would think the Steelers are vying for a, a, a wild card. So I, I mean the Ravens are going to be in the playoffs. This is but a they're, joke. They're going to start getting that reputation like the Cowboys had in the Tony Romo years. You know Jackson Jackson could be the next Tony Romo where we're looking at a guy who were amazed in the regular season and confused in the postseason. This their schedule is a joke. That is the yeah, easiest no. schedule for any team it's, that's that good I've ever it's seen. Deceptive. That's stupid. It's a deceptive schedule. I mean, mm. look. They, they, look, Cleveland's a we disaster. Know, we don't know that. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. We don't know. I mean, look, we assume because of last season, but we don't know. Like, Man, he's got to play LSU twice. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> one in week one when LSU doesn't even know who their recruits are. <laughs> uh, Jay, I think that was the funniest thing you've said all day. Yeah. Uh. No, this is not. Washington, Cincinnati? I don't know. I mean, look, I mean look, this is garbage. Look at week 9 through 13 before they get to the, the end of the schedule. You that's, got, that's, or, or fair, even, that's tough. Even, even 6 through 13. You got Philly, I guess, I guess Philly, you could, yeah. Pittsburgh, okay, Indy, New okay. Tennessee, okay, Pittsburgh, so you have a when you and you have to play KC, and depending on how Houston is. But of these teams we've talked about, and this is a team that is a Super Bowl favorite, I'm, if not mistaken, that's not – that that seems relatively. It, it, I think it looks it, deceptively it, easy because it's almost. You, in the you know why they gave us Baltimore KC, right? Because they're the NFL is is pretty mad that we didn't get it in the AFC Championship game. So, so they had to, to do it. it. Yeah, season. they had to do it. You're right. 
Oh yeah, and a night game, but that's a money game, I and mean, this is a game everybody wants to see. There's that's no doubt about that. I bet but that'll that be the highest rated game, game yeah, when you of the season. The Colts, the Pats, the Titans, the Steelers, the Cowboys in a row. That's 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 uh, good. That's good. That's good. There. That's good. But before that, really, it's no. You're like so the Kansas opening, City. Their opening schedule and their closing. Kansas City at week three, and then six through you know, yeah. 13. Yeah. Ironically, even if you gave them the hardest schedule, I bet you'd have them having roughly the same record. Yeah, I, look, they're, they, are, they are a very good team, and they're going to be in – let's just hope that Lamar can have a postseason so we don't have to hear that crap again. I don't yeah, I, th- I think it's coming. I really do. I think there's something about the way this team is set up that works really well, well in the regular season, and when they face those tougher defenses and the playoffs two years in a row, they've been exposed very, very quickly. It's – it's an interesting thing to see, and I, I, you know, I can't put my finger on it. I haven't watched enough regular season Baltimore games. I only watch the games they play against the Steelers and their prime time games whenever they're on Monday night or Sunday night. So I haven't seen enough of their games, but I can't tell the difference between the offenses. Just that they get shut down better in the playoffs than they do in the regular season. Something's got to change. They've got to do something different if they're going to, you know, hit that that next level. We'll see. Yeah, they have to save some wrinkles. Maybe they're yeah. showing too much of what they have, too much of what Lamar can I do. think that's I don't exactly know what it, is, it. But they just don't have that next gear, and other teams do, and it's, it's going to haunt them. They're going to start getting a bad reputation. I, I think that's it. nail on the head, Jay. I think he went to the well early and often, Harbaugh, with that offense and trying to show what he could do and flex and show how smart he was in recreating a, a style and kind of tipped his hand early and should have probably held – a little bit back and played some cards closer to the vest. Uh, agreed. And it, it reminds me of why I don't favor the – didn't when we had a basketball season favor the Milwaukee Bucks, even with Giannis. Like, they do the same thing. They lay it all out every night on the court. But then when you get to the playoffs, everybody knows everything they have and how they're going to do it. I, I think Baltimore and Milwaukee might be running parallels right now. Hmm. All right. So, Jay, who do you have winning that division then? Do you have your Steelers coming back and – taking the division from the Ravens or the Ravens hold on and, and, and take the AFC North? No, I, I think I would bet Ravens right now, honestly, if I had to put money on it. I don't know how Ben's going to react. I also know Ben has a, a, an injury history. Last year was an aberration. I think he's missed the end of two seasons, like two long stretches in his 15 or 20 year career, or whatever it is now. You know what I mean? He's, he's been there, I think like 18 years, maybe 2002, 2003. Seven, years, 17, like I'm not yeah, sure the seven. exact time, but he's maybe missed the end of two seasons. So most of the time he plays the whole season. But he always misses two or three games. It's rare he plays a full 16. So even if he's peak Roethlisberger, and even with that great defense, I fear he's going to miss a couple games. And unless we go out and get a a backup quarterback I didn't see last year, we're going to (laughs) lose two or three games because of Ben's absences. And that's just enough that I don't think there's a way to win the division. But I do see the Steelers as long as Ben – only misses one to three games. I see them as a wild card team. Sorry. All right, so you see them still getting in the playoffs this season? Yeah, the they're, yeah, yeah. Steelers make the playoffs. I, who are they going to run behind? Because they, they drafted a running back in, in, in what, McFarland, I think, um, out of Maryland? So, Kid out of Maryland. Yeah. yeah. In yeah. fact, we drafted all of Maryland. Oh, yeah? I, I don't know if Tomlin just, like, was, was like had a couple drinks and watched Maryland tape or what, but he drafted <laughs> most of Maryland. So it'll be interesting to see how that pans out. So two, two times this season, we're going to see LSU versus Maryland. All right, duly noted. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it all depends because like, you know, now we have two LSUs in Ohio, right? There's, there's the LSU in Cleveland with the receivers, and there's the LSU in Cincinnati with Burroughs. So true, true. LSU games. Oh. All right, so uh, so Casey, who do you got win this division then? Do you have Baltimore winning as well? Uh, holding on to this. Uh, di- yeah, yeah, Baltimore wins the division, I think, and I I, I think I, I don't think it's any question that it's Baltimore than Pittsburgh in in terms of the uh, total standings. But then, but when it comes to Cincinnati and Cleveland, I'm actually going to go out on a limb and say that Cincinnati will have a better record than Cleveland. Wow, so no, uh, nobody's buying it. Uh, like Chad's not buying. Well, Jay, you well, buying well, any and- Cleveland stock? No? Uh, man, I don't know. Like, people often bicker about these teams, and all I know is that they'll both be 500 at best. You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, right. I, I think what we're having with Cleveland right now is a lot of backlash. A lot of people bought in last year, and those of us who have experience with the Browns said, no, don't do that. Don't. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people yeah, agree. bought in anyway in the preseason before they'd even played a game, uh, and now it's that once bitten, twice shy thing. People who picked the Browns last year, I'm going to pick them after that. All right. So, Casey, you think you, so you think Cincinnati, even with the dysfunction of this organization, we've heard you think you think they're still a they can still top Cleveland for third place in the North. Yeah, I think the weapons are just there. I mean, uh, the the receive the receivers. You know, if 
if AJ Green can stay healthy, then you have Tyler Boyd. And I know they didn't they didn't pick up the fifth year option on John Ross. They recently just said they were going to decline the fifth year option. Uh, but that still gives you a, a rocket that you can just lob to the end zone on on third downs whenever the clock is expiring for Joe Burrow. And then you still have uh, Joe Mixon in the backfield and an improving defense. I don't think this is their year by any means, but I think in three or four years they could once once Ben is gone and once um, once the Ravens are a little more in or um, older. You you can uh, th- this this Cincinnati team might ma- be making a run for the playoffs, similar to how um, Andy Dalton had them about five or six years ago. All right, so tell me this, guys: are we gonna are we gonna seriously see the Burrow effect here in Louisiana? In the sense, like you saw the 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 Peyton effect in Tennessee, like that you had all these people all of a sudden wearing Colts jerseys. Are we gonna have a whole bunch of people wearing Bengals jerseys down here in, in Louisiana? Would be the Burrow first time, versus, huh? I mean. Are we going to have to start talking Bengals football down here more often because Burrow's up there? Is that what we're going to have to do? Is, does he what we train? should do is look at the, the Bengals, uh, Bengals schedule real quick and see how many people will get on their bandwagon. That's yeah, all right, let's take, look, awesome. let's take a look at the Bengals schedule. We probably should have done that anyway. They start against the Chargers, then they play the Browns. It's not till what, week three against the Eagles that they have anything of note I see here. So, yeah. Oh, and then they play the Jags. Yeah, you could definitely see some Bengals bandwagon people early in the season. I agree with that. Hey, look up Tommy Casanova. Just remember Tommy Casanova. Remember t- <laughs> Hey, so so in these Feels last like few minutes, uh, who is, is John that Galt? Cry? Remember Tommy yeah. Casanova. Who, who is John Galt? Remember, Tommy, remember Tommy Casanova Tom- was an All-American linebacker from LSU drafted to the Bengals All-Pro. Same kind of thing. Like, Local like legend. Millions of years ago or what, I guess? All right. uh, no, he played against Archie. All right, so a, a while ago, yeah. Yeah, mil- not millions. Well, I mean, they, they weren't playing football millions of years good ago. Good call, Chad. I'm sorry. I pulled a Dave Barry facetiousness. My bad. I went too far with the exam. Yeah, man.